Where do I even begin with this video, you guys? Seriously, I I don't even know how to begin to thank you all for your donations. Without this, without you guys, this wouldn't even be possible. You guys are absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy that you guys were so generous enough to donate money so that we could make, we can make this. Let me show you what you made. That, that is a desktop. And that is, that is a bunch of wires and shit. And that's my face up close. Anyways, I guess that's a bit better. Um, although my head's kind of being sawn off by the enveloping glow. Anyways, where, where do I even begin? Um, I guess let's start right off with, I am flabbergasted and so happy for what you guys have done for me. I Words cannot even describe how awesome this is. This this isn't a machine that I... I mean, I went half on it, and you guys went half on it, so it's like it's our both of our machines. It's it's my job to entertain you guys. It's... 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 I, I really... I really don't even know where to begin with being how humble and... Like, most people would just say, you know, thank you, or whatever, or, you know, you guys are awesome. But I don't even, words, they don't even, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. I, I guess I'll just stop right now, but you guys, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Um, and now, uh, for the bid war, in first place, first and, first, second, third, and fourth, will all receive one LP of their choice. Uh, non-refundable. <laughs> it's a joke. Laugh, please. Anyways, um... Materion, who generously donated $220.80. Thank you so much, man. I look forward to streaming, I think it's around 22 hours of games for you or something like that. Anyways, um, you said you wanted, uh, Chantalice as your LP, and I know I put uh, the games that you want me to stream on a notepad or something like that, but um, if you could like, I'll, I'll just talk to you on Skype. Anyways, um, and then Andreas, he donated $130, but he also loaned me $50 because something something happened with my family or something like that. I, I needed to loan the money, but anyways, I intend on paying you back your $50. I am a man of my word. Um, and I'm not sure if it's for the stream, but you want Speech Jammer Gaming. Is that your LP or... Yeah. And then Dove, my good friend, he is in third place with 69.79. <laughs> Such a silly number. Fourth place, Osborne. Um... Still undecided on stuff. And yeah, you guys uh, tell me what you guys want me to stream. You have quite a lot of money's worth. Um, Log TCN, uh, he's undecided. He donated $29.89. Slipper donated $9.31 for completion of 140. It's not that long of a game. Uh, Christopher donated $10 for stuff. Serious Altitude 2. Donated eight dollars for Nine Divine version two. That'll be fun. Nate donated fifty dollars. Undecided. Poog Poog donated twenty dollars for a fan game. I know I said I'd never play fan games again, but he he donated money for this generous cause. How can I refuse him? And my good friend Alex also donated thirty-five dollars. Thank you to everyone who made this such a success. Even those of you who didn't donate, I mean, you got my subscriber base up, you you sit down and you put up with my shenanigans and shit. <laughs> I feel so gregarious right now, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> um, and let me tell you guys what you, uh, you put your money towards. Um, I'll tell you my build. 
It is. It has an Intel Core i7 4790K 4.0 gigahertz quad core processor that goes up to 4.40 <laughs> with overclocking. Yeah, that's, that seems like a little unnecessary, right? Um, I swapped out the uh, Kraken fan for something cheaper, and this thing is ice cold, so I highly doubt I'll ever need anything else. There's four fans in it. There's two on the graphics card. There's um, the heatsink fan, and then the desk, the uh, case itself came with a fan. Um, I have, uh, I never knew that motherboards were huge. They're freaking huge. They're basically the main part of the computer. I did not know that. I know, I'm a scrub. I don't know computers and stuff like that, but now I do. I built one, thanks to you guys. You guys made this dream come true. <laughs> it wasn't my dream to build a computer, but I sure as hell somehow tried and succeeded. Um, but yeah, an AS Rock Fatality H97 Performance ATX LGA 1150 motherboard. That was another thing. Um, G Skill Ripjaw Series 8GB DDR3 memory. Western Digital WD. Actually, no, I think I changed that out for um, something a bit cheaper. It was like Hitachi or something like that. Um, it's a 2 terabyte internal hard drive. That means I don't have to throw everything on the external now, but now I have four terabytes of space. What am I going to do with all that space? Who knows? Um, I feel like a kid on Christmas, seriously. I just assembled this last night, at, and I um I finalized um installing basically everything I needed at like 4 a.m., believe it or not. Um... MSI Radeon R9 270X 2GB Twin Frozer video card. The Fractal Design Define R4 ATX mid tower case. Really nice. Seasonic 750 watt 80 plus gold certified ATX power supply. Really nice. Um, and I got a really basic DVD slash CD writer. I didn't go Blu ray. Um, and I got Microsoft Windows 7 as my operating system. And I got a cheap old Acer. A uh, 21.5 inch monitor, which is freaking huge. It's about this big. <laughs> and now, onto the story of building the computer. This was a daunting task. This was my first time ever, ever building anything. Like, really anything in a long time. I mean, as a kid, I played with Legos and Erector sets. Um and Lincoln Logs and stuff like that, but nothing on this scale. Oh, hell no. <laughs> this this scared the shit out of me, especially when I learned about static electricity and what it can do to your motherboard and graphics card and any components you install. <sighs> so this was a three-day project. The first day... Um... I I spent literally from uh, 4 p.m. until, I want to say, 2 or 3 a.m. Time just went by so fast while I was building this and looking at the instructions and everything. I know it shouldn't take that long, but I was being very careful in that. And actually, no, I wasn't because when I, um, you're going to love this, guys. When I uh, went to pick up the graphics card, I sent ele a static electricity into it, and it was a loud, loud shock, and I'm like, I fried it. I fucking fried it. It's fucking over. I mean, I, I still wanted to go with go through with uh, trying to test everything in that, and I didn't install the graphics card until the next day. Um, I asked for my dad's assistance because there was this stupid... St like, there's these ports and all this stuff, and it's really hard to get your fingers in. I mean, I have giant freaking hands! <laughs> and so, like, screwing little things in and stuff like that is, like, near impossible for me. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, while I was, uh, putting the processor in, um... The... what should we call it? The heatsink fan? Basically the thing that cools down the processor? That thing was so dinky that it came broken. That was great. <laughs> bravo, Intel. Bravo. One of the legs was literally broken, and I was like, uh, maybe I can just keep it on an angle? It, it, it could work. No. 
don't ever do that. Don't don't ever half-ass your computer. <laughs> Trust me, you you don't want to do that. Um. But uh, anyways, so onwards with the story. Um. So by the way, putting RAM in it it's really hard because you have to like line it up perfectly and just snap it down, and you don't believe that's gonna snap down, but it snaps down. Like it makes like this little tiny click sound. And then you have to shove it down a bit more, and then it'll snap into place. Ram is evil, by the way. We'll get to that later. But anyways, um, so there was that. And then there was also the point when um, I screwed the motherboard into the case itself, which you're not supposed to do. There are these standoff things that stick out of the case, like stick up out of the case, so that you lay your motherboard within the standoffs. You're supposed to do that. If I would have turned on the motherboard with it screwed into the case like that, probably. Because that would have created so much electricity and so much static buildup that it would have just fried everything, probably. So thankfully, I, um, I fixed that because... I, I didn't understand the screws, I looked at the video, and everything was kind of confusing. It was my first time through this, you know. Um, so, next day, I put the graphics card in, and all the other uh, things, like, you know, a few power connectors here and there. I was missing some, I'm not going to tell you which yet. Um, but yeah, basically, there's a 24-pin connector that goes into this massive slot, um, there's an 8-pin connector, goes into another slot, and there's all this other techno mumbo-jumbo. Um, anyways, so... <laughs> I wonder who's who's still watching this. Whoever is still watching this, comment on the video. You, you are great. You are probably bored out of your mind <laughs> right now, but we're getting to the good part. Um, so... I, uh... I, I thought everything was plugged in and everything was that, you know, optical drive has this port thingy connected into it, hard drive has this port thing connected into it, um, the motherboard should be fully powered, uh, we go to turn it on and it doesn't start. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck happened? The graphics card fried everything, didn't it? That was, that was my thought. I don't know why I thought that, uh, or I thought that maybe my dad sent some static into the, um... <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... Just thinking back to this moment, it was, it was a very painful moment, um, when it didn't turn on, and then, um... And then we pressed the power button on the, uh, on the PC, and the fan went on, and everything went on, and there was a little light that popped up on the motherboard. It's a BIOS light. It's a good thing if you get those. Um. And we're like, yeah! Oh my god, it, we did it! We did it! Woo! <laughs> at least I was. My dad was just, like, looking at me like I was some kind of crazy weirdo, and he wanted nothing to do with me. Um. So, yeah, and then we seal it all up. I go to, uh, plug in the, uh, because, okay, the graphics card fans were spinning. Everything was spinning inside, and then there was the light. So, I didn't think the graphics card was fried at that point. Um, I go to hook up the monitor. Hook up the monitor to the graphics card. No display. Hook up the monitor to the integrated graphics card on the uh, motherboard. No display. No. We fucked up. Look at despair on my face right now. I was I was so sad that day. Um, I joined the Skype group with my Megzi, Dove, Porgon, Alex, Faz, Billy cousin Andrew I didn't want to talk I felt so ashamed 
I felt like I fucked everything up. I felt like I screwed you guys out of your money. And I just, I, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to replace the parts and that. I mean, you know, the show must go on. I mean, um, I actually have a student refund, uh, coming, so I'm gonna use part of that. Most of it's going in the savings, though, uh, to move out of here and that. Um, but yeah, I was, I was absolutely horrified. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was absolutely devastated. And then I, I just, I kind of just kept trying to tweak things and stuff like that, and then eventually I gave up. I was so pissed off. Um, the next day, I, uh, Google everywhere for, is my graphics card fried? Is my motherboard fried? W what's wrong with this? What, what did I do wrong? Etc, etc. Um, I even talked to a, uh, Best Buy Geek Squad, uh, representative, and he thought my motherboard was fried because it had a red light. <laughs> Even though I'm guessing uh, that's the style of my motherboard is it just has a red light because it's cool. <laughs> and yet here we are on the new computer. <laughs> so you're wondering how, how the story changes. It's great, right? <laughs> um, so I just I keep messing with stuff and this and that, and then I um I consult uh. A friend of a friend asking him, um, would you install these parts if I, if I bought them, if I brought you the case, would you just install these parts? I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm absolutely pissed off with myself. I can't believe I put static into the freaking thing. And I also think I fry, I thought I fried the uh, motherboard as well. Clearly that's not the case. Otherwise we wouldn't be here right now. Um, and I was just freaking out. I was, I was, I was so ashamed of myself, like, the entire day, and then, and then my student refund came, and I'm like, yeah, I can replace the part, so everything's not that bad, and so, uh, later on, uh, my friend of a friend said, uh, try this minimalist boot, try, try this, try that, um, try removing RAM, try sticking just one stick of RAM in, so I go to stick the RAM in, and it clicks even harder than it did when I first installed it. And I was I was surprised by this. So I go to hook the display up to um the motherboard. BIOS screen. BIOS screen post boot. That is that is that is heaven. That is heaven when you build a computer. You feel so great when you hit the BIOS screen. And for those of you who don't know what a BIOS screen is, it basically controls like all the internal parts. Like it's it's a really neat like advanced settings thing for people who know what they're doing and shit like that. I I don't want to mess with it. But there's like overclocking and stuff like that. If I ever need like, you know, a little boost, I'll probably just tweak something like that much or something like that. I highly doubt I'm going to be like, Vroom! but I hit that screen. I was so fucking happy. I screamed and I jumped up and down for joy. And then I plugged it into the graphics card and it worked too. And then I, um, I go to, uh, I, because I had two sticks of Ram and on the bio screen, it said I only had one installed. So I go to fix and adjust the other Ram works perfectly. And then I go to uh, put in my operating system through the optical drive. I click the button, nothing happens. Turns out you need a power supply running to the uh, optical drive. I know, I'm a fucking idiot, and the hard drive. But I thought, you know, like this one connector was enough. No, that's just the, that's just the data. That's just the data going from one place to the other. That's the data going from the hard drive to your motherboard, running everything and that. The optical drive, yeah, that's how it reads it. <laughs> you need a power supply for the fucking <laughs> optical drive, and so I was—I thought I had like busted it because I, I'm not gonna lie, this was this was like super jank. Like the way I had the freaking optical drive in there was you push it, it went in, right? <laughs> so fucking silly. Um, but yeah, um, and now here we are. Uh the next day 
everything is working perfectly. I intend to do a coming back stream tonight. Um, apparently XSplit got this new Gamecaster thingy, um, and it just, you just load up the game, and then you hit stream, and that's it. It just streams directly from the, that game's input. It's amazing, actually. But seriously, thank you so much, guys. I am so appreciative of this wonderful gift that you bestowed upon me. And I intend to use it for all sorts of masochistic enjoyment. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, also, I got a nice little uh, dual monitor set up. Well, I will once I get an HDMI cable. Because <coughs> I don't want to burn out my uh, <coughs> integrated graphical processing unit on my uh, motherboard. I know so much about computers after building one. Um, so here's what I have to say after this experience. Um, electrostatic wristbands. Must have. Or do not... <coughs> do not assemble in a place where you think you will build up <coughs> any static electricity whatsoever i decided to do it in my room even though that was a terrible fucking idea um because i have dogs and animals and stuff like that and i don't need them biting wires or anything like that that would just add to the frustration overall this has been an interesting uh little experience but thank you guys so much seriously you have no idea how much this means to me <coughs> Can't wait to catch up on all my streaming and, uh, you know, get out some new LPs. Of course, uh, the top four who donated uh, get first priority over what I'm LPing and stuff like that. I mean, it still means, you know, it's Soccer Spirit and I think that's... Yeah, Soccer Spirit will uh, still go on. I know some of you guys have been waiting around for that and stuff like that, but I just... I kind of haven't been in the mood. <coughs> Range of emotions from, you know... Excitement to sorrow to excitement. <laughs> it's all great. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, more good things to come in the future. And thank you so much, everyone, for your donations, for your cooperation, for sticking with me for this long. <laughs> you guys are absolutely amazing. Um... <coughs> Oh yeah, and I'm probably also going to buy a, a new uh, capture card so I can uh, better stream stuff. It's it's not going to be that much. And I'm going to give my old one to uh, Dove. Yep. Sounds good, right? Yeah. Um, Maybe there's some more surprises that are hidden in places and stuff like that. Maybe there aren't. Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. But anyways, seriously, thank you so much, guys, again. You don't know how much... Oh, yeah. Um, to build or buy. Honestly, if as long as you are 100% careful with everything, you can build it, and it feels extremely satisfying to do this. To know that, you know, you... <coughs> you went online, picked out some parts, or you updated a parts list, or whatever, and you decided, I want this. And then you actually assemble it. It honestly shouldn't take you that long. I was just very skittish and stuff like that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this long-winded speech about nonsensicalness and the adventures of almost screwing up the gift you guys gave me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, anybody that uh, did donate and hasn't hasn't told me what they want me to stream or whatever please do that i don't i don't feel right in just you know just taking your money and doing and um not giving you some kind of service for it i mean i know it's a minimal service but it is a service nonetheless it's entertainment it's whatever um thank you so much again thank you thank you thank you you guys have been so awesome to me. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to now uh, end this video and uh, upload it so you guys can actually hear the story. <laughs>